My name is Martine Rothblatt. I'm the chief executive of United Therapeutics and one of the two test pilots in this electric R44 behind me. Today, I'm here at Palm Springs Airport where we landed after accomplishing the first ever electric helicopter flight between two cities and between two airports. Today was absolutely thrilling. Uh, RE44 uh, that I flew to get today together with my pilot, uh, Rick Webb, and uh, we were backed up by a whole team of flight engineers at Tier 1 Engineering. Um, it was like a completely stable platform. There was um, all of the, we were able to monitor changes in torque, of course, uh, temperature, uh, battery state of charge. Um, everything was able to be monitored from the cockpit. It was very um, stable. It went um, as predicted from our numerous ground tests and, uh, and earlier short flight tests. We also monitored our uh, altitude, airspeed that we intended to fly this profile from. Uh, it was an FAA-approved flight profile that we flew. And um, having previously test flown the uh, flight in a uh, gas-powered uh, R44, I would say this uh, E44 flew just as well, if not better, much quieter, and uh, with a very good feeling in your heart that while you're flying this uh, E44, you are effectively taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere because you're not putting any more in. The reason we've done this is we want to prove that it is completely practical now, today, on this, you know, October 29th, 2022, to deliver transplantable organs between hospitals in different cities or between an airport and a hospital in different cities by electric helicopters. I've always had a strong personal attraction to aviation since taking my first flights at Santa Monica Airport while I was in college. And over the years, my fascination with aviation grew. I became interested in satellite communications as a way to literally fly outside of the planet's atmosphere, to be in continuous free fall, yet stay above the Earth in outer space. That uh, fascination with satellite communications led me to build, design, and launch a number of communication satellites, culminating with the Sirius XM satellite system, which today provides um, life-saving weather information to literally tens of thousands of aircraft in flight over North America. So to me, uh, aviation, safety, the magic of technology, it's all gone one and one kind of together, hand in hand. I was CEO of Sirius XM when our youngest daughter, Genesis, was diagnosed with a fatal illness. And the doctors told me that um, she was gonna die if she did not get an organ transplant. Um, he also told me he was Dr. Roger Ruckman, Children's National Medical Center, that it was very unlikely for a young kid to be able to get a lung transplant in time. So I was completely crushed by this news, and I decided over a period of uh, weeks of deep soul searching to quit all my positions in satellite communications and devote my entire life to creating a cure in time to save my daughter Genesis. Fortunately, with a whole new team of people I built together, in the field of biotechnology at our company, United Therapeutics. We now have four medicines approved by the FDA for my daughter's illness. She's now in her 30s, um, alive, healthy, working in our company. And I've made such progress with organ transplantation that what once seemed to be almost an impossible dream of creating new organs beyond the ones that are donated by people. Earlier this year, we saved the first life of a man who was dying of heart disease with a genetically modified heart grown in a pig in our company's laboratories. And also today we presented at the CNN Life Itself conference the first 3D printed lung that was uh, lifted up by the famous uh, medical journalist uh, Sanjay Gupta saying, this feels just like the lungs I've lifted up in surgeries. So I feel that we accomplished the goal of saving Genesis life, and by the way, tens of thousands of other patients with pulmonary hypertension. And now we are well on our way to creating an unlimited supply of transplantable organs and delivering them with a zero carbon footprint using electric rotorcraft. I began this project with a um, specification for what would be needed in terms of per performance, functional performance, 
from an electric rotorcraft to meet the mission requirements of delivering organs manufactured at central locations to transplant hospitals throughout North America. And these functional um, specifications involve things like the range that was necessary to deliver an organ. Um, they involve things such as the payload weight, how much payload the aircraft needed to be able to carry the transplantable organ, and perhaps one or two crew members for the organ tender team. And then I sent these specifications to major aerospace companies uh, that I was able to get in contact with. The best and the uh, quickest response came from Glenn Drumgooley, the CEO of Tier 1 Engineering, and I presented to him the United Therapeutics business plan of creating an unlimited supply of transplantable organs and also our company's mission to do everything we can with, uh, with as low a carbon footprint as possible. For example, our company, United Therapeutics, built the world's largest zero carbon footprint building for our headquarters in Silver Spring, Maryland, and our mantra is that it is possible to both save the lives of our patients and save the atmosphere of our planet at the same time. I was already an accomplished helicopter and fixed wing pilot, and I knew very well how many pounds of gasoline aviation um, burns. Um, it's the only way to fly from one place to another. But I saw that there was an exponentiating increase in the power of batteries and in renewable energy technology such as solar panels and wind generators. And it occurred to me as a pilot that it would be possible soon to have enough power in a battery pack, an electric motor, to equal the amount of power output from the turbine engine in my Bell 429 helicopter. So I showed my calculations to Glenn, again, the CEO of Tier 1 Engineering, and I said, I would like to, co to contract with Tier 1 Engineering to build an electric helicopter using the latest um, batteries that are possible and to be able to power them and recharge them with renewable energy and swap them out quickly when necessary. Our project today began in 2016, about six years ago, and uh, Glenn built up a tremendous team at Tier 1 Engineering that we at United Therapeutics and our subsidiary Lung Biotechnology have, have been very proud and happy to work with them uh, hand in hand. And bit by bit over the following six years, we first did a hover flight with the um, electric batteries and a R-44 helicopter. We then achieved the Guinness Book of World Records for flying electric helicopters, the longest distance, the highest speed, um, the highest altitude with the most payload. And all of that um, preliminary activity culminated in this flight today, um, a distance longer than the English Channel in an electric helicopter from one city to another city. We are committed to gaining FAA approval to accomplish just that feat. And our goal from this day for the next couple years is completing all of the necessary technical demonstrations and FAA compliance activities so that Tier 1 Engineering can receive a special type certificate from the FAA to authorize us to deliver manufactured organs made by United Therapeutics to surgeons in different hospitals throughout the USA with electric helicopters.